guys, it's Steve with Morning Tips. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to use Minichat to automate and scale your Shopify store, and also to save you a lot of time as you're getting those constant DMs over and over again. So take a look at the video we're gonna talk about today. So we're gonna jump over into my computer real quick. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I set up everything and how we go through the methodology of using Minichat to reduce the amount of customer service, either questions or concerns, and be able to actually give people answers in real time without us having to be attached to our phone. So let's jump over to the computer now. I'm gonna show you exactly what we do. All right, guys, we're gonna jump in here real quick and show you how you can use Instagram automation to save a lot of time your day-to-day -day operations and also be able to scale without having to worry about delegating too soon right so we can use automation systems and automation as our friend to help us to have more time to actually spend on the income producing activities okay so what I'm gonna do real quick is we're just gonna jump right in Let's hop on over because I want you to see a little bit of the dashboard. So it <clears throat> shouldn't be too confusing. You should be able to follow it. So let's jump in real quick. So one of the first things you can do um, with uh, this automation with Minichat is you can actually add conversation starters, right? So what are conversation starters? You click on here so I can kind of show you exactly what it looks like. This is when somebody's actually gonna DM you, right? So let's just say, by the way, if you aren't following me, make sure to follow me on Instagram at the real Steve. Go ahead and follow me on there. Check out some of a lot of the posts. We have a lot of uh, free content on there. But what you're gonna see here, if a person is not following you, they're going to get these options when they get before they get ready to DM you. So let's say they're not following me, right? So they get this option saying, do you have a marketing question? Uh, so do you want to schedule a call to talk business? Then it has the option. So you want to make some extra cash where it links uh, into, you know, referrals. If you don't, if you have somebody that owns a business that could use some of the services that, you know, our agency provides to have that option here. So these three pop up when a person has not friended me yet. Um, so that way they don't have to necessarily type in anything if they don't, if they already see that one of these options is actually what they're looking for, right? So you can set that up very quickly. So to give you an idea what that looks like, let's just say uh, someone has a marketing question. So what you're gonna see if we click here, this is what's gonna happen. If they click on that button, you're gonna see this here and they are actually going to get this first message here, which says, hey, did you have a marketing question? Yes or no? And you can see the stats here. Um, that's one, I just put this together fairly recently. So you can see the stats here. 75% of the people clicked yes, 13% clicked no, right? And what you'll see, and the other percentage means they just didn't make a selection. So what you see here is if they click yes, it'll say, cool, best thing to do is yada, 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 right? And you can, you know, guys can set that up to say whatever you want it to say. And then if it's no, they get a different message, right? This is very powerful. Now, mind you, this all goes on without you having to be involved at all, right? So maybe this doesn't look like something that's hugely beneficial, you know, for somebody who is starting out. But if you have over 10,000 followers, if you have over 50,000 to 100,000, this saves you a ton of time answering the same questions over and over and over again, okay? Now, one of the other things is, let's see right here, you, we can actually take, you know, let's just say, let's go to edit here, okay? Let's just say that we wanted to add the option here, we'll do user input, right? To say enter, let's just do this, enter your email here, okay, right, just a sec. And 
we're going to actually come up here and change the reply type to email. Now, why is that important? Well, now it's going to say this has to be whatever this person inputs has to be formatted like an email. Now, on the back end, I'm not I don't want to get too technical for you, but we can hook this up to an active campaign. We could hook this up to uh, a Clavio. If you're on Shopify, I highly, hook, I highly suggest you to hook it up to the Clavio. Um, and then it, tri it places this email address onto a list and puts them into an equal email sequence where they're constantly being marketed and remarketed to. So again, all of this stuff happens real time without you having to do anything, okay? So let's just say I do that, right? We, we do email say perform actions let's see what we can do from here and it says action. here we're gonna hit action let's just say we want to we'll see the options here that means if they type in their email address it's basically saying what do you want to happen Okay, they type in their email address because I'm using active campaign in this particular set, uh, situation. It's gonna say, okay, cool. Active campaign, what do you wanna do? I said, I wanna add contact. Okay, now, fine. Feel, email is all I really need right now. I'm not gonna go into too much. Let's just select it, right? We'll do email. And now it's gonna say, well, what list do you wanna put it on? So I'm gonna say, okay, cool. Let's put them on our 30 for 30 course, right? This is a free free course that you'll see in my in the link to my bio on Instagram where you get a free e marketing tip every day for 30 days. So I'm gonna put them on that list. Hit save, okay? And while I'm hitting save, you go ahead and hit the like button on this YouTube video if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, and now that's automatically sending people to active camp campaign for me. So as you can see, if you look down here, you can see right here the chart has added that. So this is this is good, right? So now all I have to do is hit publish. And boom. Now we've have all of this automation sequence inside of Instagram DM. And then on the back end, we've hooked it up to our email autoresponder. So now they're gonna start getting emails from us every day. Just from that one interaction, I do not have to be present for this to happen. I can literally uh, run ads, I can run traffic to this particular, to my page and have people email or message me and all of this could be happening real time. Extremely powerful, right? So I just want to show you that from one end. The other end, I want to show you real quick, and I'm not going to go through, I don't have time to go through all of the functionality. But the other thing I want to show you real quick is the customer service aspect of this. So what do I mean by that? Okay, let's just say someone has a question, right? So we're going to go to keywords here. We can set up a flow. The flow is what you just saw with that visual roadmap, right? And that visual roadmap basically allows them, it's if then else statement, right? Meaning if this happens, then that happens, else this happens, right? If this happens, then do this, else, or or do this, okay? So what we could do with a keyword is say, hey, let's just say they have a question. Okay, we'll, we'll look at this example, right? Let's just say they have a question about, uh, let's see which one this is dominate okay so this looks like a webinar let's just say they have a question about webinar right so if they they message the word webinar to me here's what's gonna happen let's show you the flow real quick and again I do not have to be present or online or on my phone for this happen if they do if they use the I want to kind of zoom in really quickly so you guys can see this um but yeah, let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. There we go. So let's just say they do, they, they, and, and you guys, you can try, if you don't believe me, go to, follow me on Instagram, type in the word webinar and try this yourself. Okay. Try this yourself. And I'm trying to make it just big enough for you guys to see it. 
Um, keyboard's acting weird here. Let's move it. Let's see if we can move it over here. Oh, goodness. Oh, there we go. Okay. And we'll just, one more time. Bingo. Okay. So if they hit the word, you know, webinar, it's going to hit this and it says, hey, you know, first name or John, Julia, whatever the name is. See you interested in the scale on the brand. You can find information about, you can find all the information you need and watch a webinar by clicking below. They click this link, sends them to, or that link here, sorry, sends them to the webinar information. Now, it'll wait about a minute and then it's gonna say, hey, by the way, if you have any questions, is they're gonna go watch the webinar? But when they come back to Instagram, it's gonna have this little message that says, hey, if you have any questions, you know, just email me here. Uh, Steve at We Grow Your Brand really should be actually <laughs> support because I am not at my email. Uh, my team is monitoring the email 90% of the time. So let's change that to support. It's a good change. And then it's also going to say, by the way, what's the best email address for you so that I can send some bonus material over so you can check that out. And I will send them over uh, either a checklist or access to the free course that we just talked about. Okay. So again, this and all they have to do for this action to happen. Okay. Is type in the word webinar. So you can see how that works. Now, just briefly to, to touch on why this is important. Let's say you're running a brand. People constantly message you say, I don't I have questions about size. I have questions about uh, shipping. I have questions about um, um, I can't think of another one. Uh, order quantity, right? I have questions about do you ship to this country? You can literally set up all of these keywords. So if if Instagram sees that they type in that word or a combination of those words, depending on how you set it up, it will automatically start working on your behalf like that. Okay, so you don't have to be there. It's going to send them questions, and I put this on clients. Uh, Instagram account, business accounts, and it actually has kind of confused them because they think that they're not getting messages anymore. But what's really happening is the software is actually answering those messages and doing the customer support for them, sending people the information they need for them. So it's extremely, extremely powerful. Um, highly recommend it, guys. So go ahead and pick up, a, you know, can look in the description of this video, you'll see more information. But go ahead and pick up mini chat if you can get this stuff set up if you're not as techni technically savvy right this is not something that you want to uh, kind of play around with a setup send us an email to support at we grow your brand you'll see the email in the caption below and uh, we'll send you some packages on how we can set this up again you can set it up on a basic package we the basic essential features that you need all the way up to very complex package where we can basically give you access to all the capability of this especially if you have a larger brand to where you can utilize this to take this interaction and build your email list and make more money on autopilot not just more money but more money efficiently a lot of you want your time back systems and automation on your stores is what's going to help you get your time back hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel um if you have any other questions let me know reach out be on the lookout for more videos coming your way soon appreciate you guys i'll see you in the next one take care